The Chillingham Bull Of all the images associated with Buick's name, the large engraving of the Chillingham Bull, commissioned by Marmaduke Tunstall of Wycliffe, is the most famous. It was printed in 1789 with the intention of eventually accompanying an account of the wild white cattle being prepared by Tunstall. The cattle belonged to Lord Tankerville of Chink Chillingham Castle, about 30 miles north of Newcastle. On Easter Saturday, 1789, Buick set off with a companion to walk to Chillingham. In his memoir, Buick records... In order to get a good look at one, I was under the necessity of creeping on my hands and knees to leeward and out of sight. With sketchbook in hand, Buick completed the drawing and a block was cut in due course. He used the opportunity to show that, when needed, wood engraving could match engraving on copper in its richness of effect. The engraving of the foliage is particularly subtle. The print is much sought after by collectors on account of early damage suffered by the block which had been left in a sunny spot at the printer Solomon Hodgson's workshop over the weekend, causing it to split in two. The original block still exists in the collection of the Hatton Gallery, though it is unusable. A copy block also survives. Simon Sharma says of the Chillingham Bull that it is an image of massive power. The great, perhaps the greatest, icon of British natural history and one loaded with moral, national and historical sentiment as well as purely zoological fascination. On Buick Street, in the vicinity of Buick's Little Cot, there is a bronze replica of the Chillingham Bull on the pavement. Countless people walk over it without paying it any attention, although the local pigeons have noticed it and have embellished it over the years.